100%. Everyone on YouTube is going to see how much of a pussy you are. <laughs> I'm going to cut my finger open. Be careful. You're not even... Careful. I know what I'm doing. Look at that. What is going on, guys? It's came back here. And you are currently seeing me, my dumbass, struggle like an asshole to cut open a pumpkin. Um, I didn't have a serrated knife at the time, so I look like a complete asshole doing this. But I wanted to make this tutorial real quick so you show you guys how to make a pumpkin into a hookah. So you can have a jack-o'-lantern hookah for Halloween. It's pretty seasonal. It's pretty cool. And uh, something fun. And, you know, I like to do this kind of shit all the time. I've made, um, I've made hookahs out of pineapples out of watermelons so I thought you know why the hell not make one out of a pumpkin uh, like I said seasonal it's pretty funny to bring it to a party around this time uh, I brought this one to a party on Saturday and it was pretty pretty funny everyone got a good kick out of it and it's pretty simple so as you see here I'm just cutting the top of it off I'm going all the way around but I didn't have a serrated knife if you have a serrated knife it'd be so so much easier using this giant ass knife I'm surprised I didn't cut my fucking hand off but uh, you see here, just go around and try and make it as straight and as smooth as uh, seamless as possible. As you can see here, I do a absolute terrible job of doing that. Mine is not straight at all because, again, I didn't have a serrated knife. And if you had a serrated knife, it would have been so, so much easier. You could have cut it perfectly straight and it made my life so much easier. But, uh, you know, fuck me. I didn't have one. So I went with this and uh, looked like an asshole. But, you know, whatever. So like I said, you just cut this off, cut the top of it off. You know, and uh, make sure not to cut yourself. You're not using a serrated knife like I am. Be careful. This is kind of hard to think here. I am actually putting a lot of pressure on this knife here. But, um, you know, don't kill yourself trying to do this. It's not worth a trip to the emergency room to smoke out of a pumpkin. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, it would be a funny story to tell someone. But uh, you look like a complete asshole if you did that. So, uh, like I said, just cut the top of this off and uh, go on to the next step. Uh, you have to carve out the insides of the pumpkin just like you would if you were making a jack-o'-lantern. You would cut out the insides, you know, scoop them all out. Or you can get kits at Walmart. We got kits at Walmart at least for like 99 cents that uh, are for scooping out the insides of the pumpkins. As you'll see here in a second, the inside, as you know, is full of all the gunk and the seeds and whatnot. You'll need to remove all of that. It shouldn't take too long. It's not too hard. Just scrape it out. All that stuff, the stringy stuff, just scrape all of that out. As you'll see me doing in this next part right here. Get a giant spoon or something like that and just scrape it all out until, you know, it's all gone and it's just the smooth, you know, the smooth inside of the pumpkin and no seeds, none of that stringy stuff. You can leave a little tiny bit if you want and it adds a little bit of flavor. I'm not going to lie. I left a little bit at the at the bottom. But you don't want to leave too much because if you leave too much, it'll end up getting sucked up through the hookah and it'll clog it and it'll make it taste weird. So, uh, you know, the key to this is finding the right amount to leave in there. But like I said, scoop most of it out. It'll end up looking a little something like this. You're about to see in the next clip here. It'll end up looking like this. It's smooth, bored out, and perfect for holding water. And you see here, I'm being an asshole with the hookah stem. But the next thing you're going to do is to cut out the top of this. And uh, again, I'm being an asshole and not using the right knife for this. Um, it's not serrated. You want to make this hole as tight, as small as possible. I actually ended up doing this stupidly, guys. Don't do what I did and just cut out the center like an asshole. The hole was too big and it was really, really hard to make it airtight. So I had to use a lot of duct tape. What you want to do is make it airtight as possible. But as you see here, I later after I fix it up, you took the hookah on the top. And I have to use a little bit of duct tape to make it airtight. Because I did make the hole too big. Like I said earlier, I didn't use the right knife. And it didn't make become airtight. But you have to make it make sure it's airtight. So you have to, if you don't make it airtight with the hole, just use duct tape and you can paint over it or decorate over it however you want. But just make sure that it bubbles and uh, so it'll smoke right. And if you want, you can, uh, the, the sides, the holes, uh, the sides, you know how I cut it in half. You can use super glue like I did to super glue it together so that is airtight also. But that's what you end up with right there. And uh, I don't have any video of me smoking it because, like I said, I did bring it to a party on Saturday and it was dark outside where we were smoking, so I couldn't view the tape. And at the end of the night, we ended up just smashing it because I, I didn't want to bring it home. But this is the final product after I put a duct tape mask on him and drew over the eyes. I really wasn't thinking about it. It looks kind of stupid, but I did try and decorate it with duct tape. It looks kind of stupid. Yeah, I know. But that's what it ends up with next to my girlfriend's pumpkin there. She likes to carve pumpkins too, whatever. But uh, that's what you end up with. And it's pretty easy to do, and it's pretty fun and pretty seasonal. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on this video and share with your friends. It would be very much appreciated. So thanks, guys. Peace out. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> Dude, this is working better than it would with their your shitty ass bowl. I know because it wasn't it wasn't uh, that seal was broken on it. So it wasn't as sealed. This is I'm gonna buzz on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you guys are new around here, you guys can feel free to subscribe for all the latest gaming news and information along with my commentaries and weekly series. You can click the link on the screen for Halo 4 gameplay of the new Mantis mech suit vehicle, which is pretty cool. So you guys should check that out. And as always, have a good day and game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out.